employers are always looking for people with practical expertise and a proactive approach to cybersecurity challenges. So engaging in practical projects is essential for all of you looking to enter the cyber field. So by the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to showcase your ability to identify and address vulnerabilities using powerful tools like Burp Suite. Now, if you're not already sure what Burp Suite is, it's a tool that's specifically designed for assessing the security of web applications. Everything is timestamped down below, so if you need to skip to a specific section because you already have the knowledge, then feel free to do so. But first, let's dive deeper into Burp Suite. So the tool itself offers a range of features, such as a proxy for intercepting and modifying web traffic, an automated scanner for discovering vulnerabilities, and tools for manually testing and analysis. For example, it can offer you manual testing tools such as the repeater for fine tuning requests and the intruder for executing automated custom attacks such as like brute forcing or fuzzing. So if you're interested in that type of stuff, then the project that we're talking about today is going to be the best one for you. And if you are a beginner and you're not sure how to actually download and install Burp Suite, then I've linked below in the description the best guide on how to do that. There are some really good instructions in it and it will talk you through the initial interface and actually through to starting your first capture. As you can see, we have the community edition and it was recently updated, so you don't need to worry about it being three years old and it's all broken down into different steps all the way through to doing your first capture. And there's many more other instructions on there on conducting your own analysis. If you want specific free courses on how to understand the information, then wait around till the end of the video after we've discussed the project. So now that you understand that, let's talk about the actual project itself. So a hands-on project is an excellent way to learn vulnerability management effectively. And not only that, but cybersecurity in general. And I talk about projects all the time on my channel. So if you haven't seen any of the previous ones, then I recommend you check out my project playlist after this video, because it's the best way to get yourself into the cybersecurity field if you don't have any previous experience. But for today's project, if you're now familiar and confident with Burp Suite because you followed the previous instructions, we're going to now learn more about network traffic analysis and how we can use Burp Suite to do that. So the goal of this project is going to be vulnerability management and we're going to use Burp Suite to identify vulnerabilities and conduct manual testing. But before we jump into what that means and what the project involves, I just want to mention that you need to ensure that you have all the necessary permissions to do the activities that you're doing within this. When it comes to choosing a web application, make sure it's either your own or a public one that you already have permission for. Great, now that we've got that out the way, let's split the project down into three different steps. So step number one. In step number one, you're going to be conducting an intercept. So you'll set up Burp Proxy to intercept and analyze the HTTPS requests to identify any potential vulnerabilities. You'll want to configure your browser to route traffic through Burp Proxy. Use the proxy tab in Burp Suite to intercept requests and responses allowing for the real-time analysis. Inspect and modify the parameters, headers and cookies so that you can identify any potential security vulnerabilities, such as things like injection points, parameter tampering or insufficient input validation. And once you've done that, you'll go on to step two, which is the analyze phase. This is where you'll want to leverage the burp repeater for targeted manual testing and modification of requests to uncover those security vulnerabilities. I want you to select specific requests that you've identified during the interception phase and send them to Burp Repeater for detailed analysis. Just like I said, if you're not sure in the detailed analysis section, stay around for the end of the video where we'll have a look at some courses that teach you on how to do that, all for free. You'll then want to mod modify the parameters systematically to test for vulnerabilities like SQL injection, cross-site scripting, or other input validation issues. Those are just some examples. So then you'll look to analyze the responses for any un unexpected behavior, error messages, or indications of a successful exploitation. That will then lead you onto the final phase of documenting your findings. I want you to compile a detailed report that summarizes all the vulnerabilities that you've discovered and any potential security risks. Although it may feel like step one and step two are very important, 
the third step is always one of the most important because there's no point intercepting and analyzing if you don't know how to use that information going forward. And this is what will show an employer that you actually know what you're talking about and the project was useful for you. You didn't just follow a course and get the output. You knew exactly what to do with that information for a business. So document the vulnerabilities you've identified, including things like their nature, their potential impact, and any potential exploitation scenarios. Provide evidence of successful exploitation if you can and categorize them based on severity. Organizations always love doing things by severity. So even though you found a vulnerability, is it something that is very high priority and needs resolving or would you classify it as something that you can resolve after you resolve the priority severities? So include any other observations or context that you feel like might be relevant. And once you've done this, make sure it's all properly documented. And if it's something you want feedback on, then feel free to email it to me and your findings. And I'll happily go through that and tell you what was good and what was bad and what you could improve, as that's the aim for these types of projects. Now that you've done that, if you're looking for more help on how to analyze the information you're receiving in Burp, we've got some free courses. So the first one we have here is by Hack the Box Academy, and it's about using web proxies. So you can see, you can jump straight in with this link that I've pasted in the description below, and you can start the module. There are a number of different sections, and they all help you with setting up and intercepting web requests, repeating requests, encoding and decoding, different proxying tools, and we actually have sections on Burp Intruder and Burp Scanner. So a really good one if you're not so sure with the different modules within Burp. Then another one that we have here is Class Central. You can see I've already searched Burp Suite and we have over 1000 courses available, but we can choose to filter those down to free courses and we can also select the duration. If it's something that you can't keep interested in for longer than an hour, select 30 to 60 minutes. Or if you want a more longer course, then feel free to do two to five hours or five to 10. But there's many different ones on there for free and you can go through them it's not something that you need to spend a huge amount of money on. So those are some really good free courses and I hope you find this project really interesting and you get to have some good information from it. And like I said, do send me your results of your documentation. If you're interested in these type of projects or just cybersecurity in general, feel free to join our Discord. The link will be in the comment section where we discuss all things cybersecurity and I send lots of hints and tips just on how you can navigate your career in general in cybersecurity. If you've enjoyed the video or you like the project, please do leave a like down below. It massively helps it out and it tells me that you're enjoying this type of content and I should carry on making cybersecurity project videos.